Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIW. If you find us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIW. In this new video, we'll see how to add and apply all and clear all slicers buttons in Power BI. And why should we add them? So let's get started. In Power BI, you have the option to add buttons to apply all the slicers on a page or clear all the slicers with just one click. To do so, on the insert ribbon, select buttons, then select the apply all slicers button. Following the same steps, we can add clear all slicers button. Note that you can customize the buttons as any other button. You can check my previous video on how to customize button in the description down below. Now that we added the apply all slicers button, when we select a value, the button is enabled and a pending clock icon appears in the slicer header, which indicates that the slicer is in a pending state. If the slicer header is turned off, we will not see the pending clock. Note that you can change some formatting options of the pending icon, like color, size, transparency in the formatting panel. The clear all slicers button allows to quickly and efficiently clear all slicer selections at once. Keep in mind that all slicers and clear all slicers buttons impact all the slicers on the report page and don't control the filters pan. What we can do also in our report is to give the user the option on how they want to apply this, their slicers, if they want to apply them one at a time or all at once. In this report page, we added two bookmarks. One hides the apply all slicers button and the other shows it. Then we added a bookmark navigator. You can check the videos about bookmarks in the bookmark navigator in the description down below. With that in place, the user has the option to apply the slicers at one or one at a time. The last thing I want to share is that it is recommended to use these two buttons especially when you have many slicers for performance reasons because it helps reducing the number of unnecessary visual queries the slicers send. And we can check that using performance analyzer. Let's display it and start the recording. When we select for example a value in the product category slicer we can see that only the slicer is affected. Same goes for the other slicers. And when we click on the apply all slicers, then the rest of visuals are affected. Now if we try the other option, each time we adjust a slicer, it affects all visuals, which results on sending many queries to the source. That shows us the advantage of using the buttons to apply and clear slicers. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.